Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that's probably very controversial, but it's something that I've observed um, since going plant-based. So I'm going to make the statement that the most important reason to go plant-based or vegan, whatever you want to call it, is because it makes your energy consistent. What do I mean by this? I mean that every day when you wake up, you present a version of yourself to the world. You get to choose how you present yourself to the world. Now, if you're eating 100% plant-based, then your energy is more consistent. And every day when you wake up and enter the world, you will present as the same person. Your actions will follow the same trajectory. Your words will follow the same trajectory. There will be no two-facedness, you will not, you will not think one thing one day and then think something completely different the next day. It is more likely that you will continue to think the same things and continue to act in a way that is in alignment with those things. Right now in the world, we're experiencing a mental health crisis. There are many reasons for this. One might argue that it's because of how fast-paced our world is, how complicated our world has become, that it's very hard to cope. And while this is true, I think we also must consider what we are putting into our bodies. Are you taking drugs? Are you taking a bunch of prescriptions? That's going to affect the chemistry of your body, whether or not you acknowledge that. There is no avoiding it. It will happen. And it will make you perceive reality differently. Um, so taking drugs, like, your version of reality is going to be completely different than someone else's. You're going to be living in sort of like a bubble, and you're not really, really going to be connected to the truth of the universe. Likewise, if you're eating animal products that come from factory farms, those pro animal products contain energy, and that energy comes from those animals that were treated inhumanely. And that energy will go into your body when you consume those animal products, and you will begin to act in ways that are not reflective of reality and you will do and say things that are not in alignment you will you will act in very bizarre ways now this is a mind fuck because I'd say 90% of people are eating these animal products. So now we consider the people who are acting in that way after eating those animal products that come from factory farms, we're considering that behavior normal, even though it's completely messed up. 
it's completely not based in reality. But because the majority of people are acting that way, we, we think it's normal and we're making excuses for it. And we're saying, yes, that behavior is normal, acceptable. Um, but we're not considering why we're behaving, behaving in that way. And it has part, a large part is due to what we're eating. <laughs> It's just common sense. So when I say one of the most important things you can do is go plant-based, that is because your energy will be consistent. And there is so much value in that because from that solid foundation of consistent energy and actions and words and thoughts, you can accomplish great things you will be more so in alignment and you'll be able to accomplish your goals. Your goals will change once you reach that state, but you'll be, you'll see more clearly, you'll see reality for what it is because you're no, no longer consuming these things that are altering your perception. Another thing I want to talk about is relationships. Right now in the world, so many people are having troubles dating. And from my observations, I see the most healthy couples as the ones that are completely plant-based. When I'm on YouTube, when I'm on social media, the most successful and healthy relationships I see are the ones between plant-based people. And I think that goes back to what I said before. The people in these relationships have consistent words, actions, and thoughts. Now, yes, they might have some... They might... I'm not saying eating plant-based will solve everything. No, nothing will solve everything. You're still going to have trauma to deal with. Everyone has trauma. And so you will have, there will still be things that need to be worked on. But what I'm saying is you're giving yourself a better chance at a healthy relationship by going plant-based because your energy will be more consistent. And when you wake up in the morning next to your partner, who is also plant-based, that person will look the same to you as they did the previous day, and vice versa. So there will be no gaslighting. It will just be, we are the same people who we were yesterday, and who we will be tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that. We are presenting ourselves in a consistent way. I think a lot of the difficulty with relationships right now is that people are not consistent in the way they are presenting themselves. And so if you're both eating animal products, um, then you're going to be dating this person, but you won't really have a good sense of who they are because each day when you when you see them, they're going to appear slightly different and vice versa. They will think the same thing about you. And I think that is a huge reason why a lot of relationships are not working out these days because people are not being consistent in their words, actions, and thoughts. And how we can become more consistent in our words, actions, and thoughts is to eat plant-based because that food does not contain negative energy, for lack of a better term, um, that factory farmed animal products does contain. Yes, produce, some produce, conventional produce, contains pesticides and we want to do our best to eliminate those. But on the whole, if you are plant-based, 
your energy will be much more consistent. You'll be able to work towards your goals. And you will show up as the same person each and every day. And I'm going to argue that that's the most important reason to go plant-based. I don't think the most important reason is for the animals or for your health. Although what I'm talking about is interrelated with health. So yeah, that's interesting. But I think a lot of um, vegan activists make the mistake of saying it's all it's only about the animals it's all about the animals and considering the other thing you you need to consider the full picture if you're making the argument that somebody should transition because if you're only talking about this one point oh the animals look at all the animals the horrendous conditions of the animals you're failing to talk about the other points which are just as, if not more, relevant to the situation. And I think that's all, uh, another reason why a lot of people are turned off by vegan activists, is that they, they make it all about one thing, and they talk in a very um, agitated and hostile way. And that's not a way to convert other people into thinking the way you do. And that's why I think this video will be controversial, because, yes, I do think a lot of vegan activists are prob problematic, and I think they need to be talking more about the other reasons to transition. Anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about this topic. What have you observed um, in the rela relationships in your own life? Um, what do you think is the mo most important reason to go plant-based? And like this video and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Bye.